completely sure what today is gonna hold. Um, we were gonna go out and do some stuff, but it snowed and the temperature is currently eight degrees. So the vlogs for the next few days are gonna be a little bit different, mostly just because we're gonna spend most of the time like in, in the house. So that the cats couldn't destroy it. It didn't work. <laughs> we had to put our tree up because Max would uh Max does that. Serena's using my laptop and headphones to edit and I'm sitting next to her, but I keep uh my iPhone keeps disconnecting the headphones from the from the laptop. So I'm getting this this will be the solution. There you go. <laughs> this was a shower before they before they got a uh, before they got into this house. So I've been experimenting with the length of these videos recently, like making them a lot longer. And personally, I think I, I like them, I think, but more importantly, what do you what do you think? Like, let me know in the comments if you like the longer form videos. Cause I, I'm, I'm liking them because they're different and it's more of a challenge. And also I don't really understand why you would have a shower next to the water. So on one of my earlier videos in the week, I started the vlog talking about my moon gels and like the nasty residue that it left on my rack tom and somebody suggested trying to use drum dots or drum tacks and i've used both of them in the past but to be honest i've never uh it was only like one or two of them i didn't actually buy a full pack and i didn't really give them a proper like shot but basically the issue that i had with with moon gels is they would over time kind of deteriorate and like leave this nasty this nasty residue looking stuff on the drum and especially the blue ones, it would stain the drum head purple, which is pretty gross. And I asked if like, if the clear ones, I don't know if the clear ones do that or not with moon gels, but even then, the, it seems like the texture is gonna just come apart over time. So I, I wanna try drum dots and, and drum tacks. Like, I think it's a good idea, and I'm probably going to try that out, cause it's just nasty. It's just like, it doesn't look great, it doesn't look professional, and I typically keep my drum heads on my toms way longer than I should. And I just, I want to keep them as clean looking as I, I can for as long as I can. If you've tried drum tacks or drum dots, let me know if that issue happens to you. Like I said, I, I would think that they, especially drum dots, they feel like they're more, uh, they're more, the rubber's more put together. So I don't, I would think it wouldn't be an issue, but just let me know. <laughs> think we're going to the movies? I don't really know, to be honest. You okay back there? Yeah. Yeah? Are you okay? Yeah. Yeah. Not too cold? Aren't you gonna be cold in that? No. Not cold at all. It's actually not that bad mm -hmm. for getting coffee first. It's five degrees outside and I actually got a hot hot drink, which is a rarity. Also, this is like an old bank that they converted into a coffee shop. It's very interesting. I have no idea what this is. I don't think uh, they're gonna let me take this camera in, so I'm packing it down. If I was a betting man, they're not gonna let me record, you know. No. Nah. Alright, I'm gonna teach you how to do it.
you taught That's us how, how you to do, do it. it. That's how you do it. <laughs> Are they airsoft BBs? They got airsoft pistols, CO2 pistols. Yeah. What is this thing? It's a dog gun blaster and it's from Walmart and yeah? it's pretty good. It has full auto, it has semi-auto, full auto. They got that thing yesterday and uh, they had to wait all night for the BBs to, the BBs like a bibs. They uh, expand. Yeah. This is the back side of the house. They were living in this before they could move in here. They literally gutted this entire house, like sheet, down to the sheetrock, and they took walls out. Major construction, but anyway, they were living in this before, and now they're. That's the. So we just got back from from the movie. It was it was good. We saw Puss in Boots, the the new one. It was actually it was actually pretty good. I liked the the story was pretty good. It was a good movie. I didn't really know what to expect because I'm not a huge. Uh, it was pretty good. Air conditioner turned on, so I'm gonna gonna move. So I haven't done this in a while, and uh, I figured today was a good day to do it. And I'm doing it outside because it is a much warmer out here today than it has been. The past couple days it's been stupid cold, like one degree or minus five degrees. I'm going to accomplish two things and get some outside time like a five-year-old would and uh, <laughs> answer some questions. It's more punchy. So this video, I basically, I took a video of me hitting the drum and then putting a moon gel on the drum, like right where the microphone sits. And uh, there's, there was a sound difference and I asked if you could hear the difference. And yeah, when I placed the, one of the reasons that you wanna muffle drums, it's not the only reason, but one of the reasons that you wanna muffle drums is so that you can get more punch out of the drum. And that doesn't mean that the, the drum is like getting louder or anything else. It just simply means that you're taking some of the overtones out and it feels, it's more of a direct sound. It got a bit fat, exactly. Like fatterness or punch is basically just more of a directed sound to what you're, you're looking for. I think I need to, is that better? I think that's better. The best kit setup for worship. Yeah, it, it really is, honestly. So my default for like, like drum set configuration is going to be kick, snare, high tom, floor tom, crash cymbal, hi-hats, and then a ride cymbal that I can also crash on. That's just, for me, it works best, and when I'm traveling, I want to carry as little gear as I possibly can. That's like the amount of gear that I feel like I can still accomplish everything that I need to accomplish, but I'm not like breaking my back carrying a bunch of gear. So this video I'm gonna read a couple comments from was talking about three positives and three negatives for uh, in-ears and my GH Audio in-ear specifically, just to give you a little context. GH Audio's customer service is fantastic. If you ever get a chance, I really want to actually. Uh, they have a they have an office in Nashville that I want to stop by and get my ears cleaned and just kind of see the whole operation. I just need to find the time to, to do it. Hey John, how would you compare your JH Audio IMs to your 64 in terms of fit? So that's a little a little tricky. So the reason that I upgraded to my JH was because my 64s no longer fit. Um, but when I got my, my 64s, they, they fit great. I just, your ears never stop growing. So every couple of years you need to update your, your in-ears and uh, it was time for an upgrade. But fit was similar. Uh, I think the JH Audio ones are a little more snug, but I think I can contribute that to the person that actually did my molds versus the first person. I guess that wasn't that, that complicated. <laughs> Bro, this is some great color content. I wish. I love that. Thank you so much. That's very kind. I, uh, thank you. Hey, man, love your videos. I'm getting new. I honestly would always recommend JH Audio. Uh, yeah. They're very consistent and they're also very, uh, they're built really solidly. And, uh, to me, that's important, especially somebody that's kind of hard on, on his gear. With JH, so you still need to buy a separate receiver or transmitter? If so, will it work? So, uh, I'll unpack that. That's a couple of different questions. The, as far as the molds and stuff, I didn't do it myself. You can. Um, I go to an audiologist and either, it's normally like, if it's not free, it's normally like 25 bucks or, or something like that. Super affordable, but I'd rather have a professional do it and get the molds right. 
than me do it and not get the molds right. Because if the molds aren't right, then your in-ears aren't going to fit well and the whole experience is just not going to be great. And uh, as far as the transmitter and receiver, I don't own the transmitter and receiver. That's always going to be the back line of whatever gig I'm doing or the, the band will own its own transmitters and receivers. I just own the headphones that go f to an eighth inch jack that I plug into if that makes sense. If they don't have any of that, then I'll always have like a six foot extension cable that goes into like a Aviom or a Behringer P16 or, or something like that. But no, I don't, I don't buy that stuff. It's, it's expensive and it has to be, it updates every couple of years. OMG, why are you so, so underrated? <laughs> Thank you, I appreciate it. I don't know. Are these good to go when just going to a concert? Yeah, I've actually worn them um, when I've gone to concerts and stuff like that. They're, uh, the cable can get a little cumbersome, but yeah, they cut out, I think it's like 20 something dB of, of sound. So they're great for that. Which Jay, okay, I'm gonna end on, on this this uh, this little question. Which JHIM earphones give beautiful? So the way JH Audio does their, their um, does their like lineup for in-ears, it's kind of interesting. It's not based on like the amount of drivers or the amount of like specs that the in-ear has. It's based on how they sound sonically. So for me, I got the I got the ones that catered more to like the low end because I'm a drummer. Um, but like the Roxanne's or the Lolas, they all have subtle like so sonic differences that sound a little warmer. Some sound a little more like hi-fi. And that to me, that's that's another reason I chose to go with JH Audio is because it seems like they're coming at it more from a musical standpoint, and that's how I approach everything. Like when I'm recording stuff, I approach it all from a sonic standpoint. It's never about the gear. It's never about like, oh, this drum is supposed to sound like this. That's never in my consideration. It's always about what sounds good, what serves the song, what sonically can get me there the, the fastest, if that makes sense. So because of that, I really respect the way JH does their uh, short answer uh, go to a JH Audio like booth or store and just sample all of their uh, in-ears and find the ones that you like the best is my recommendation because I feel like that's it's a very subjective thing and I can't tell you in good conscience these sound the best for you if that makes sense <sighs> okay in the shade it's getting it's getting a little chilly but in the sun much better I hope that makes sense. It's kind of not a great, I, I don't like giving like non-definite answers, but uh, some of the stuff is just completely up to interpretation of whoever's listening to it. So look how beautiful this is. And they have a porch too. If I lived here, I would spend all of my time up there. Doesn't matter if it's in the negatives or anything else. I would spend all my time on that porch. Since it's a, uh, it's a lot warmer today, I'm going to try to go on a run. I don't know how long I'm gonna last or how long I'll go for, but uh, I'm just gonna give it my best shot. I should be fine, I got thermals on and running in the cold is like, there's a learning curve and I feel like I'm finally starting to, <sighs> it should be fine. All right, let's see how far I go. Check out this view. <laughs> well, I made it seven miles before I before I called it. I saw a church that had the bathroom like a hundred feet away from from the church. So. This is a church, cemetery, men's bathroom. Interesting. Good run, solid run. Chilly, but good. You know, the audio doesn't sound, these speakers don't sound bad. Her little brother's headset wasn't working, so I'm, uh, I'm checking it. It doesn't fit my head. I couldn't get it to work, so Savannah's, Savannah. I don't play Fortnite, so I don't really understand. Is it working? I think so. Yep. All right, I think I'm gonna call the vlog right here. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button down below and um, leave a comment on your, your favorite part or if you like these longer format. If you like these longer videos, 
If you haven't yet, feel free to hit the subscribe button down below uh, to stay up to date on all the new videos that I'm releasing on this channel. It's currently five days a week, Monday through Friday. So if you're interested in that, hit the button, subscribe button. And with that, I'll see you guys. Uh, <laughs> see you guys tomorrow. We're going home tomorrow. And we might be going to Pigeon Forge, maybe. I'm not really sure. No.